guys first of all i'm sorry if it's dark it's so gloomy outside so the room is quite dark so today's video is actually a what do i eat in a week video before i get on with the actual week i just want to explain a bit about my diet i would consider my diet very intuitive so i just eat what i feel like my body needs at the time so sometimes I eat out, I eat greasy food, sometimes I try to eat more, more on the healthier side, it really depends on how I'm feeling. So my diet is quite non-restrictive. Uh, I do try to do like intermittent fasting, if you guys don't know that. It's, I don't follow it very strictly, but I do feel like I gain lay, less weight and I feel better if I do it. Especially now that I work from home and everything and that we are in lockdown, I don't exercise as much. And I don't like move as much as I would want to so I don't really have breakfast I kind of skip over breakfast because I feel like my body doesn't need that much food because I'm not that active these days in lockdown so I try to have a 14 hour period between my eating days so if I finish my my dinner at 7 I won't have food until 9 p 9 a.m. The, the next day because there's a 14 period gap for women so yeah i try to follow that but as i said i'm not very strict so i do most of the days i do actually do it because just because i don't get hungry before the 14 hours and yeah as i said i don't really have breakfast my breakfast every single day consists of a latte i always make my lattes with whole organic whole meal i just i try to buy organic everything just because i i feel like that's like an extra step you can take to like make sure the food you're eating is like better for your body so i always drink my coffee with organic whole milk and with like half a sweetener tablet because i like my coffee sweet just just i thought i just let it out there it was easter monday actually so minion was in the house i decided to make curry curry is like one of our comfort foods i make it around i want to say like every week or every two weeks i did some carrots onions mushroom and pork shoulder in my curry i always just add whatever vegetables i have usually i add like courgette or broccoli just whatever vegetables i have in the fridge i always have my curries with fried egg on top and with kimchi that's the best curry combination i feel like and yeah that's what i had for my lunch and then i went to starbucks and i had a chocolate chip cookie latte which minyoung treated me to because as i said it was East easter monday so we just went out for a little walk to starbucks and that's what i had for my little mid midday snack but i wasn't that hungry because of the latte so i just made myself a bacon sandwich so i just put tomato avocado of course bacon put some of this vegan garlic alioli from Lyon if you guys are in the UK please buy it it's so good to so put some grated ma mature cheddar that's like my favorite cheese also add that in the sandwich never go wrong with sandwiches to be honest it's so good I also had this green smoothie on the side because I felt like I needed a bit more vegetables for dessert I had this like matcha oreo thing Tuesday I had a latte as always in the morning and all Tuesdays I have a meeting at 12 so I always try to eat before 12 because obviously I don't have that much time to cook before my meeting so I just defrosted this like dumplings me and Minyoung made a few weeks ago so I just like pan fried that with some a bit of sesame oil and water a drizzle of soy sauce and some sesame seeds and that was basically my lunch as a little dessert after my meeting I had an Americano with this half of this pastry i bought at chinatown like i think it's a red bean croissant kind of thing that was really good for dinner that day i decided to make like little pizzas so i'm right now i'm making the pizza sauce with just onion garlic canned tomatoes olive oil of course and a lot a lot of like spices i bought these little like this four mini pizza bases and i decided to make the pizza with that I made one pizza with just cheese and mushrooms and then another one with bacon, mushroom, pepper, onion. That one's more like Mignon style. Make sure you season it well. And then I made the bacon one twice. And then the second one I added like jalapeno. Then I bought this burrata cheese and I made a burrata salad, which is just literally lettuce, tomato, avocado, burrata, olive oil, and balsamic vinegar. 
liked it. And then actually Mignon came home and like he was really hungry, so he also made pasta. With the leftover tomato sauce I made for the pizza, Mignon decided to make to make spaghetti, so I had a bit of that too. So yeah, we had a feast. Again with the coffee in the morning, and then actually it was really cold, so I decided to make some porridge for my lunch. So this is something I do a lot, I have breakfast food for lunch. Instead of adding sugar or honey to my porridge, I always add dark chocolate chips or just like dark chocolate. It sweetens it up and I love chocolate, so that's something I did. Then I added some bananas, some walnuts and peanut butter, essential. And I think some sliced almonds too. I had a bit more of that green juice and the porridge and yeah and as a little snack i made like a green tea latte like a matcha which is exactly what i'm drinking i made this with the, this coconut milk which is really good for drinks this is the matcha i use just in case you guys are wondering yeah i just made that i have videos in the channel about how i make it so you guys can check that out if you're curious and yeah i was drinking that after my workout you guys can see this is how i look like after i worked out <laughs> for dinner i decided to make tortilla de patatas it's a spanish dish which is basically like a potato omelette and originally you need to fry the potatoes and then make the omelette with it but frying potatoes in my kitchen which is so small is such a big mess and like it's really bothersome so I always just like steam the potatoes up in the microwave and then just make the omelette with steamed potato rather than fried potatoes. It's healthier if the potatoes are steamed rather than fried. So how I do it is you just slice the potatoes and then you get a container that's like microwave safe so it has that little like hole in the lid. I just drizzle some olive oil, shake that well and put that in the microwave for two minutes and then take them out, mix it up, two minutes, take them out, mix it up until you can poke the potato with a fork. It can take between five to ten minutes. Just put that in a bowl and then mix it with eggs. I think I use four different eggs for two potatoes. I use four eggs and then just make sure you put salt, so important. Then just mix that up. The mixture in a pan with olive oil in very high heat make sure the oil is like steaming you put that in the pan as soon as it's spread turn the temperature down to medium and then just flip it straight away using a plate you flip it that that's a bit tricky like flipping the thingy you need a bit of practice to flip that and then once it's flipped turn the heat down to low low heat you just let that just simmer i guess in low heat for seven minutes and that's the tortilla done once the seven, seven minutes are over, I like to flip it just because, just to make sure it's even. Actually, Mignon was meant to have this, that's why I made, I made tortilla because, you know, I'm, I was meant to eat it with Mignon for dinner. But actually that day Mignon didn't, co didn't come home for dinner. He came later because he was really busy with work, so he just ate there. So I just made a really small salad for myself. It's literally just tomato, avocado, salt, pepper and olive oil. And then I, I had some leftover pork shoulder. So yeah, that's all I had with a bit of wine. Again, treat yourself. And then I had an Actimel for, for dessert. I was really craving like an English breakfast kind of vibe. So I really wanted like sausages and like mushrooms and tomatoes, something like that. But I didn't want to make it like greasy because English breakfasts are quite greasy. So I just bought these like Italian chicken sausages, which are so good by the way. I cooked some tomato and mushrooms, just with salt and pepper. And then I just had that with one buttered toast and I actually had some left, a piece of leftover tortilla because I really needed to eat that up. And then I just had some iced Americano for dessert with this little cheesecake kind of Thing. It's like Korean cheesecake kind of snack I bought at the Asian supermarket For dinner, I made one of my absolute favorites I really love this dish It's kind of inspired by a Korean dish It's, it's called Hedopbap Which is basically just like raw salmon bibimbap It's kind of my interpretation of it I've eaten a lot of Hedopbap in the restaurant But I've never actually looked up a recipe I just kind of made it up what I thought like was right so I just cook up the rice and then cut some cucumber, some avocado. I also soft boiled an egg and then make sure to get the freshest salmon you can find in your supermarket. 
and you just like take the skin off and chop that into cubes you always add a bit of lemon some spring onion on top and some sesame seeds and just mix that up I'm gonna make the sauce which again I made it up I don't think this is how you make the real sauce but this is just kind of my own version of it which tastes really good by the way so I just add some soy sauce and I am adding a lot because I'm making for two for me and Mignon I don't have any measurements I just do it by eye I add soy sauce, wasabi and then gochujang which is Korean red pepper paste Add that and just like mix that up it Takes a while for the gochujang to like melt But you just keep mixing that up until it looks red Put some bit of like green, some lettuce or whatever you have Then the rice on top Avocado, cucumber, the soft boiled egg and the salmon and I actually topped it off with, I don't know what this is called, like some kind of sprout, I don't know what they are called Literally it, you just add the sauce and then mix everything together and eat it And I just had it with some instant miso soup and some beer On Friday I was kind of done with cooking because as you guys can see I cook for lunch and dinner in the weekday Because Minyoung is working until late and I was really done with cooking on Friday I, I was doing some work in the morning So of course I had my my, lat my morning latte I did it just to have like this instant bean sprout soup And I just made some sausages with that just as a side dish So I just literally poured, in, poured the content inside the cup So it, it came with some broth and like some just like MSG I guess Some like mixtures You were meant to put rice inside of the actual container And then add water mix that up and put that in the microwave so that's what i did it was okay it was very bland but you know just a quick quick lunch is what i needed and then guillermo came so we had my favorite coffee from red lion for dinner we ordered our favorite lebanese takeaway on friday nights we tend to order in just to celebrate work week ending we always try to order something so this is our go-to takeaway it's so good it's like chicken shish and like a lot of like salads and like different vegetables and pickles and it's amazing i really love that my camera is really about to die so i'm gonna finish this really quickly let me know what you guys think of this video please give me any kind of feedback because i've never made this kind of video before yeah that's that's about it i hope you guys are staying safe and that you enjoyed the video and i will see you guys very soon see ya